If you're looking for the best brushes for polyurethane, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have ProGrade Paintbrushes 5e Paintbrush Set. Choose from among five different brushes for polyurethane application in this affordable value pack from ProGrade. The pack includes a 1-inch flat brush ideal for narrow pieces, odd angles and small corners, and a 1.5-inch tapered brush suitable for crisp, clean corners and angles. Choose the 2-inch tapered brush. 2-inch flat brush or 2.5-inch tapered brush for broad strokes on standard woodworking projects like a stool or coffee table. These synthetic bristle brushes feature a stainless steel ferrule that resists rust and corrosion while tightly holding the polyester filament bristles. Each brush also boasts a smooth and contoured hardwood handle for a comfortable grip. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Wooster Brush 5221 2 to 1 half silver tip angle sash. This brush from Wooster is an excellent option for applying polyurethane to average size woodworking projects or furniture due to its 2.5 inch width that's suitable for both broad and precision strokes. The tapered bristles allow the user to direct the brush tip into corners to ensure that the entire surface is evenly coated, the brush features a smooth wooden handle that fits comfortably in the user's hand, providing balanced control over each stroke. Synthetic bristles made of polyester filaments achieve a smooth, soft finish with feather light strokes. The brushed steel ferrule is resistant to rust and corrosion, helping to ensure that the bristles remain secure through multiple uses. Number 3 position is held by 3144296015. Oxhair Angular Trim Paint Brush. The natural bristles on this brush from Purdy are made by blending oxhair with a white china bristle for added resilience and smooth application of oil-based polyurethane. A strong, durable stainless steel ferrule helps to ensure the brush doesn't lose any bristles while in use. The tapered bristles are 1.5 inches wide, allowing the user to properly cut corners and difficult angles without issue. Use this brush to apply a variety of oil-based coatings or sealants, including paint, enamel, varnish, polyurethane, and lacquer. It boasts a slim hardwood handle with a hanging hole for easy organization and storage that won't damage the bristles. The brush is also available with flat bristles and in 2-inch, 2.5-inch, and 3-inch widths. Next, at number 4 we have 3144152320. XL Series Angular Trim Paint Brush. The synthetic bristles on this brush from Purdy are made with a combination of nylon and polyester that soak up water-based polyurethane, providing a soft, even finish. The smooth hardwood handle is easy to hold and control for precise brush strokes. The brush also features a brushed copper ferrule with superior rust and corrosion resistance, helping to ensure that the bristles don't fall out after extended use. Use this brush for touch-ups on trim or small to average size woodworking projects, including window shutters and door molding. The 2-inch width is suitable for long, broad strokes, and the tapered bristles reach narrow corners and tight angles, providing full coverage to the entire project. The number 5 position is held by Wooster Brush 301321. One half Foam King Paintbrush. Don't fight with fragile bristles that can bend, break, or fall out when this Wooster Foam Brush is a great alternative for applying polyurethane to smaller projects like a mailbox bird feeder or chair legs. The foam brush soaks up water and oil-based polyurethane and measures 1.5 inches in width for a smooth, controlled application over a small surface. This brush has a wide plastic handle that is a part of the hard plastic ferrule. It has a rigid core to keep the handle and ferrule stiff while the foam flexes and bends to achieve the best results. The low price and moderate reusability of this brush 
make it an excellent option for the casual dyer. The number 6 position is dominated by Wooster Brush Q3108-4 Paintbrush Soft Dip. For inch, brushes smaller than 4 inches wide are great for small to average size woodworking projects, but they lack the girth of this 4 inch brush from Wooster that can quickly apply a coat of polyurethane to a table, a door, or even a wall. The brush features synthetic bristles made of nylon and polyester for a fine finish with water based polyurethane. The flat bristles glide in broad strokes over the material, making it easier to apply the polyurethane in even layers. This produces a soft finish with a balanced color palette instead of splotchy, uneven coats. A solid plastic handle and a brass plated steel ferrule help secure the bristles and maintain the high durability of the brush. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Wooster Brush 5221-2 to Angle Sash Paint Brush. Wooster is one of the most recognizable and trusted brands for painting supplies. This brush has a comfortable wooden handle with a remarkably smooth surface. It feels great in your hand and is strong enough to last through many uses. The bristles move fluidly and allow for good coverage and movement while you work. I've used this brush for several months worth of projects without ever having to pick loose bristles out of my recently applied polyurethane. They're made out of polyester, which makes them a breeze to clean. They'll stand up to washing and solvents, so you can continue using this brush for many applications. The painting edge is angled, so you can easily access corners and edges on your workpiece. It's 2 inches wide, so it's not ideal for very small projects. However, it makes applying polyurethane to large surfaces quick and painless. This brush is made in the USA, so it's an excellent option for those looking to support American businesses. The number 8 position is held by Wooster 5232-3 Gold Edge Varnish. The handle on this brush is hardwood, so it's unlikely to break, and you'll be able to use it through many projects. It's exceptionally smooth and comfortable to hold, and the tapered design gives you reasonable control while you work. The bristles are very fine and flexible. They move and fan out readily when applied to a wood surface, so they will allow you to get a very even application without too much trouble. Applying poly using this brush is effortless. The ferrule is made of stainless steel and holds the bristles very tightly. I've used this brush through countless applications and have had nearly no issues at all with hairs coming loose and getting stuck on the surface of my projects. They're made out of polyester, which means they'll persist through many uses and cleanings. The painting edge is straight, making it ideal for use on flat surfaces. It's not the best brush for getting into hard-to-reach corners, but the 3-inch wide painting surface will allow you to apply poly quickly to large surfaces. This brush is made in the USA with high-quality components. Next, at number 9 we have Minwax, 427,350,008. Polyurethane Brush. Minwax has been a trusted name in the woodworking industry for decades. They provide varnishes and applicators that are affordable, but still offer excellent quality. The handle on this brush is made of soft wood. It's more durable than most plastics, but it won't last quite as long as hardwood handles. It's smooth and comfortable to hold, and the tapered design offers reasonable control while you work. It features natural bristles that generally do a better job at soaking up polyurethane than synthetic options. They are thicker than most other options, which gives you great control. However, they are also a bit stiffer, so they're likely to leave lines in your poly finish. You may find that more sanding is needed between coats when you use this brush. The bristles are held in place with a stainless steel ferrule. I did have a few isolated instances of bristles coming loose after which I had to do some touch-ups on my work pieces. Cleaning this brush is straightforward, and it can stand up to some scrubbing and solvents. You'll be able to use this for multiple projects with adequate cleaning, but I don't think it will last as long as some RTA brushes. The painting edge is straight and 2 inches wide, so it's ideal for medium-sized projects that don't have corners. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Retree Industries. 12033 Fine Finish Paint Brush. Red Tree Industries provides painting accessories for accuracy and quality of finish. The handle on this brush is made of finished soft wood. 
It's very smooth and comfortable to hold, but it isn't as durable as hardwood handles. It's tapered to give you a decent grip while you paint. It features natural china bristles, which are thicker than polyester options, and soak up a large amount of polyurethane. The painting edge is chiseled, making it easier to apply poly to larger surfaces, especially given how much medium it holds. The bristles are also a bit stiffer, which may require you to sand afterward for a smooth finish. The bristles are held in place firmly, and I had no issues with them coming loose. The brush is easy to clean, and will likely last through many projects, if appropriately cleaned, after each use. This brush is available in 6 sizes ranging from 1 inch to 4 inches, and the broadest brush makes larger projects much more manageable. That's all for today. We upload tech product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.